morning. A new day, and nothing has changed. You're absolutely right, random voice. I personally am not a morning person, so I don't think that my character should be either. So he's he's rather grumpy in the morning, and if you, my dear viewers, are as me, not a morning person, then you know that the best way to cope with this is actually to establish a kind of a ritual in the morning that helps you get to the actual point where you can start working, socializing with people and so on. And part of our personal ritual will be heavily relying on Fortuna's ability to distribute our daily share of weed. Awaken! So let's get this one done. I've come to collect my daily ration. Here, take it! Three of the Northern Dark. Thank you very much for two now. Let's open our inventory and check out what he gave us. Yep, that's a good one today. Good work, Fortuno. Thank you very much. You helped me clear my mind and not, you know, f forget about the things that happened yesterday. Not, not worry too much about what happened because it, it was, it was just an awful day yesterday. And we, I don't really want to talk about it, to be honest. Um, the only thing that we can take away from it is that we are terribly, terribly. Um, under trained and that we are not ready to face all the dangers in the world just yet so forget what I Awaken. said yesterday about saving our learning points we will actually spend our last five learning points on this fella I would like to learn how to increase the power of my magic the power of your spirit is the key so five learning points will grant us five uh, points in magic so that we are now at 10, I think. I think we started out with 5. But let's check our stats very quickly. Yes, we are at 10. Our mana didn't increase now um, that we leveled up. So let's do that manually by eating one of these. Um, what gives us mana? Life, life, life. This all increases our health. The red bar on the left side. Stone root. 25 is a bit much, so uh, let's let's check if there are any smaller units. Nope. We will... Well, I guess we will eat one of the stone roots then. That's that. We filled up our mana thingy pool. Let's just call it a pool. A pool. A mana pool. That sounds nice. So, <clears throat> what are we going to do today? We we are a hero after all, so let's do some heroical things. Um, for example, um, one of our quests uh, from Korkalong involves some mine crawlers that needed to be killed. Now we didn't face any mine crawlers so far, and I can tell you that they are hellishly strong. There, there's a reason to the fact that we didn't face them so far because they are not living out here in the normal world. They, they are actually living underground, and they are really, really dangerous. So I don't think we are actually ready for them yet. So my plan that I came up with uh, in in hours of of preparation and thinking about what to do is. Um, actually running into the forest and killing everything that we can find in order to um, become more skilled at fighting animals. Oh, I attracted them all. That's interesting. Oh, come on. I targeted the fog with the wrong one. Only one hit. And if they bite me, that doesn't even tickle me. That's... That's a good promise. Alright, let's have a quick save though. Because it's the first rule of the Gothic games to save once in a while in order to not rage quit. Here we go then. That was really easy. Alright, note to myself mole rats are not a threat anymore. That's good. That's good to know. That's nice. And they guarded a little cave here. Let's have a look at that. Now it might be so Solana so rare. That sounds rare. 
It might be that there are stronger monsters in here. Happens from time to time. But if I remember correctly, and if my eyes do not deceive me, there is no such thing in here. We have a torch though, that's nice. Still need some more torches for the bloody old mine. It's going to be really dark in there. So long, There's some more herbs there. There we go, alright. That was easy enough and we got some some easy experience from that. Now these are blood flies and apparently they detected some enemy over there. Because they just all flew off. Yeah, they are fighting the scavengers. Now that's not so great. Because I wanted to defeat all those monsters. But I can still do so. Another little cave. Let's get all the mushrooms. Except for this one because I Stepped on it. Alright. And they're back. Apparently they were victorious. No, no, they are still fighting. <laughs> yeah, blood flies are just so annoying. Alright. Let's help a bit out. Can't even can't even hit it. I am the victor! Oh gosh, this terrain is really steep, so I have to use my mouse in order to, um, in order to see something. Actually, let's, let's do it like this, just for, for this over here. Uh, Alright. Uh, one of them left? Only one? the other one. So it's somewhere over there. But now it's raining. Ah, great. Alright, let's get this. We can sell the wings of the blood fly. They are valuable. So... Stuck in one of the trees, I think. Wait, there were some lizards over here, right? I don't like it. Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. They are actually... On the path, I think, on the official path, because um, the the blood flies somehow triggered them, lured them on the path. So if I had followed the official path, then uh, I would have run into into the lizards. I would probably be dead by now because the lizards. I don't think I can take them just now. Even though scavengers and morads and blood flies are not really a problem for me. Lizards should still be. Alright, now I didn't tell you about my great tactic so far because um, I thought about uh, what I could do to to level up fast and quickly, so that uh, I don't I don't waste anyone's time um, by trying to get uh, strong enough in order to uh, in order to to face the mine crawlers. And uh, my plan is actually to run into the forest and see how far I can progress until I die. So, <laughs> here we go. Oh, do you see some scavengers over there? And also there's no rain in here in the forest. That's good. Uh, but I think I spotted something moving. Yeah. Those might be wolves. Or it might be something else. I think they are wolves. Come on, are you attacking me? You're not. Can you even get through there? Oh, the wolves are really close. The wolves are really, really close. And there's actually a shadow beast over there, so I don't really want to get any closer. Mr. Wolf, would you, would you mind? Well, actually, this is not really a good idea. You know, given that wolves always attack in, in packs, as we learned yesterday. There we go, I think, yeah, it's doing its threatening stunts. So, I am ready to 
push back, push back, push back. That one's dead. There's one on the other side of the tree, I'm pretty sure. Oh, come on. You didn't see me. And there's number three. I thought there were more in this pack. Hello? Excuse me. Will you mind? Just really quickly. Wait a minute. There we go. Didn't hurt that much, did it? Nice. Nice. That wasn't too bad. And there's a lizard over there. And since it's only one, I actually want to figure out um whether I can whether I can do this. So let's let's see how we fare against a lizard. Oh, not too bad actually. And they they only give eighty. Eighty in experience. The wolves, the adult ones, gave me ninety, I think. So wolves are stronger. Um, lizards. Right, so I might be able to take on the pack of the pack of lizards. Sorry. I'm always getting quite nervous inside the forest. Not only because there's a different audio file here. I don't want to get too close to that one. There's a shadow beast right around the corner. But also because there are so many different monsters and standing so close to each other. And only some Wait a tick, wait a tick. Is it over there? Did you see that? It actually did its threatening thingy. What, what, what? Why is it so close? I thought it was over here. Well, if it's over there, then I can easily take out this scavenger and its fellow companion. Right? Right? Ooh, it's coming over here. It's coming over here, and this one's dead as well. I already killed it. So that shadow beast actually has a quite a big... I'm not sure about the English term, but, um, you know, the, the area that it's living in and um, that it regards as its own territory, I suppose. So that is quite a big area that it is moving around in. Track the mole out. Without actually having to fight any major monsters in the background. Oh, come on. Only one step. Yeah. Now let's move on very quickly for Mr. Shadow Beast sees us. Ooh. Nice. It is nice. Actually, it's not. But it's like this. It's still there. Nope, no, it's gone. Oh, is there anything here? No, no, just the textures breaking down. Right. Lots, lots and lots of scavengers. Uh, some blood flies over there. Should be able to do this. 